What? Oh, that's probably them. Ha! Remember the old saying, kids? Beans, beans, the magical fruit. Just plant your beans, then grab some loot. Man, I've been saying that rhyme all wrong. Don't worry, Uncle Scrooge. We'll take this so you don't throw out your old man back. Nice try, lads, but you know the drill. All money goes to the bin. Not next of kin. Big late! Your board of directors called. They say your recent adventures are causing costly damages to the city of Duckburg. Which I always pay for. Adventure leads to treasure. Treasure helps the company. The company helps the town through appreciating investments in long-term civic fiduciary interests. Yes, what's not to understand? The board has set up a television interview with Roxanne Featherly to help boost your character. My character does not need boosting. They're overreacting. Good news, Mr. McDee. The beanstalk missed the orphanage. Uh, what time is the interview? Oh. <gasps> Lena! <gasps> yeah, I'm not really a hugger. Oh yeah, no, me neither. Hugs are like, whatever, or whatever. <laughs> hmm. Are you excited for our sleepover? We're gonna brush our teeth, go to bed on time, wake up in the middle of the night confused, saying, where am I? Oh, that's right, I'm at the best sleepover ever! So this is your first sleepover. Yeah. Last one up the stairs has to brush their teeth twice! grade bed sheet tuck-in that's often used as an interrogation technique? Bathroom? Down the hall, on the left. Ah! <clears throat> Aunt Madrica? <laughs> the home of Scrooge McDuck is safe no more. What do we do first? My current plan is make popcorn, watch a movie, and then Webby really wants us to brush our teeth. Dental hygiene can wait! I can feel my powers growing the closer I get to Scrooge's precious number one dime. Listen to this! <laughs> the amulet thing is already in the bin, so I just hang out here and wait, right? Ugh. You wait here while the Hunter's Stone searches for Scrooge's dime. It will bring the dime to you. You will bring the dime to me. And I will unleash its secret mysterious power, striking from within his very home and laying my grim vengeance upon Scrooge McDuck. Mm -hmm. So just hang out here and wait, right? Could you please try to care about our centuries-old blood feud? You know what I care about. Ugh, fine, whatever. Do this and I'll grant you your dark heart's fondest desire. Unless you're too busy hanging out with Pinky McHappy Bow over there. Relax, it's just an act. The lunar eclipse is soon at hand, you little well. well. Ugh, don't trust them, Lena. They'd turn on you in an instant if they knew what you really are. Tell me where the warheads are. We're not done here. I made his matching friendship bracelets! Hmm, oh, thanks. Hey, what's this board all about? 
this is all the info I collected about the McDuck family. Family tree, articles of importance, lifelong foes. It says here Scrooge hates magic. Oh yeah, all kinds. Curses, incantations, card tricks. He says magic is a supernatural shortcut for hard work. He won't even allow any spell books in the house. Wanna see what I snuck into the house? The Grimoire du Murloc, an ancient book of magic. Ever wonder what dark forces loom in the shadows, waiting for the right time to pounce? <laughs> no, can't say that I have. Ooh, we should try some spells. Nope. <clears throat> uh, how about we play a game? According to an article I read about slumber parties online, the perfect sleepover game is... Pillow fight! Huh? Huh? Oh. Ah! We pick a fight with Webby. <laughs> oh, grab your swim trunks, boys. I know how to salvage the night. Sorok-san, I suppose my greatest weakness is that I care too much. Fascinating. Well, Mr. McDuck, I can assure you that you will not come off likable doing any of that. Unfold those arms, drop the frown. When dealing with the press, SOS. Be sincere, open, and smile. Some find my skull very appealing. Ah, the, the press of vultures looking for the next story to feast on. I can handle a puff piece reporter. Fine, I'll go easy on you. Now, Mr. McDuck, I love your accent. Tell me, what part of Ireland are you from? <laughs> Up next to the diving board is Dewey Duck, representing the proud country of Dudonia. When asked if he was concerned about the possibility of injuring himself on the cold hard cash below, he simply replied, NERP! We hold now for his national anthem. Oh, Dudonia, land of the few, home of the duck, clothed all in blue! Dewey Duck makes his approach. Word has it, he's got a new move, the triple corks do. minutes. Let me show you how it's done. Truth. Okay, what's your deepest, darkest secret? Oh, uh, mm, dear. <laughs> Dewey was eaten by a magical money shark in the bin! What? I'm really good at trades. It's just swimming around in there, eating money and children and money! We have to tell Mr. McDuck! No! no! We might have snuck into the money bin without permission. You realize getting your brother eaten is way worse. Louie's right. If we tell Scrooge they snuck into the bin, Scrooge will feed them to the shark himself. Well, we need to do something. We need to take care of it ourselves. Don't you trust me? Okay, but if there's a monster in the bin, we need a way to keep safe while looking for it. Like a boat? But how do we get a boat into the money bin? My best friend Dewey's in trouble. I can feel it. Now what do we do? We wait. You lure real sharks with chum, so logically, we should be able to lure a money shark with expensive stuff. Oh, so long, future inheritance. I would never have thought to feed Scrooge's family to the Hunter's Stone before it ushers about his destruction. Well done, Lena! <laughs> Next time you give me an amulet that turns into a monster, I'd appreciate a little heads up. Uh, that monster has a name! Show Tiffany some respect. <gasps> Are you wearing a colorful, personalized bracelet? Well, it's not that colorful. <laughs> oh, my sweet dumb. Dumb little Lena. You're being the worst fool of all. A sentimental fool. You're actually trying to help them. No. I had to do something to keep them from getting Scrooge involved. 
And I'm sorry if I don't want to be killed by a money shark. I doubt the sincerity of your apology. Now get out there and stall while Tiffany accumulates mass. Wait, it's going to get bigger? Oh, she's going to get really big and really mad until she gets that dime. Just don't get eaten until then. This is coming out of Dewey's portion of the inheritance. Help! Did you know sharks never run out of teeth? They have the most powerful jaws on the planet. On average, there are about 100 shark attacks a year. Dude, <laughs> now is not the time. Facts comfort me when I'm nervous. It's clearly a magical creature, so there's only one way to defeat it. Magic. No. It's a shark, and the Junior Woodchuck Guide clearly states once a shark is back. No. It's back. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna crash into it. No, Dewey's in there. Louie, money bag. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Stupid shark! <laughs> The 16th century sharks are referred to as sea dogs! Ah! Oh, Dewey's brothers! There's the man of the hour, Roxanne Featherly. It's an honor and privilege to meet you, Mr. McDuck. Such a fan. When you forced Medusa to take a good hard look at herself in the mirror, it changed me. And her into stone. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, most people don't know about that. Well, most people aren't me. Now, don't worry. This interview is just the two of us having a conversation. I'm here with multimillionaire menace hey? Scrooge McDuck, who <laughs> values profit over people's lives. I'll take your awkward smile as a confirmation that you enjoy feeling superior to everyone in the now ravaged town of Duckburg. No! I, I, now, Mr. McDuck, I can't quite place your accent. Tell me, what part of Ireland are you from? I found a protection spell! We'll need a bunch of herbs and a cauldron! Uh, grab that spice rack and, um, that collectible popcorn bucket! Uh, I don't know, Webby. It's not good to mess with this magic stuff. I'm pretty sure I got this. All evil energies leave this space! Go back from whence you came! You get out of my face! Ugh, I hate magic. You hold your tongue. Magic is the family business. And the more we use it, the more likely I am to get caught. Don't need magic. Need your wits and some kind of shark-stopping thing. And maybe a snack. Uh, Launchpad? Uh-oh. Launchpad's hungry. Hungry for vengeance. Launchpad! Vengeance. For Dewey. Launchpad! Anyway, crash boat now? Yes, or, uh, no! Just no! no! Hey guys! Next time, we have a sleepover at my house. With a rich Celtic tradition connected to, but entirely distinct from, the rest of the United Kingdom. And secondly, I have done far more good than harm for Duckburg. Ask anyone! Will do. Joining us for comment via satellite from his office that was recently ravaged by Scrooge's blameworthy beanstalk, Flintheart Glomgold. You, McDog! Roxanne, good to see you. And you. You can't believe this Tam O'Shanter wearing terror! <gasps> oh. oh, shameful. We can't all afford top hats, you rich snob! You're rich too, you malevolent mountebank! You best believe it, Scroogey! I'm rolling in it! Then what is your point? I'm glad that beanstalk crushed your office. <gasps> oh. Lena, do my bidding. Lena, find a tiny dime in a sea of dimes. Lena, don't get mad when my money shark tries to eat you. Lena, I found something. According to this, to stop an enchanted force, you must remove its power source or beat it with a stronger magical totem. We can use our friendship bracelets. Friendship is the greatest magic of all! Well, that's not how magic works. But the shark is made of coins, so maybe if we can find some kind of coin that holds a special significance, we could stop it. Oh, like Scrooge's number one dime! Oh, is that a thing? Like, do you know where it could be? Scrooge keeps it in his pocket at all times. What? The 
stupid dime isn't even stupid in here. Oh, we need to get to Scrooge now. What are you doing? Our friendship is all the magic we need. Don't you trust me? With the hand of my best friend, we bring about the money shark's end. Buddy, stop. It's not working. Just believe. Again, with feeling. With the hand of my best friend, uh, we bring uh, about uh, the money shark's end. With the hand of my best friend, we bring about the money shark's end. With the hand of my best friend. Uh, you sentimental fool. You don't know what you're doing. You're going to get us killed. <gasps> My building was destroyed, and he just gets away with it. You tried to blow up my office at least twice this week. Three times, if you count. Right now! No! No! Well, this is embarrassing. Roxanne, you can't trust the word of my sworn enemies, whose only pastime is constantly plotting against me. There is absolutely no truth to the claims that my treasure hunting is in any way dangerous to Duckburg. This just in, Scrooge McDuck's treasure has transformed into a money shark. And, hold on, I'm being told it now has legs. Of course it does. For those just tuning in, a money shark appears to be heading to Duckburg, where it's sure to cause untold destruction. Citizens are rushing over in boats to collect the falling gold debris. It seems Scrooge's fortune is now up for grabs. Glomgold, your thoughts? Ah! Ah! My money! And the safety of the fine citizens of Duckburg. Well, on the bright side, it's not just trying to kill us anymore. Why did you break our chant? Is our friendship not magical enough for you? Maybe. <gasps> When I see Launchpad, I'm talking about these wages. <gasps> Look! It must be after Scrooge's number one time! Why would you think that? I don't know. A, a reason. No time to think. We gotta go. Heave off! That's my money! Oi, guilt girls! Come and get me! My number one dime! Yeah. Oh no you don't, you predatory piggy bag! Hi, Mr. McDuck! Everyone? Mr. McDuck! <laughs> Get me that dime and you'll finally have everything you've ever wanted. Then how am I supposed to get it without being eaten alive? Now you figure it out. Lena, look out! Winnie! No! Huh? Lena! Why'd you save me? I thought you were mad at me! We're friends, you beautiful idiot! I don't care what you did! Looks like someone's a hugger after all. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Dewey! Don't you ever get eaten by a magical money bin shark again, you hear me, boy? Uh, okay. No, no, not you again. 
Roxanne yeah. Featherly reporting live from the scene where Scrooge's apparent generosity has provided a much needed economic boost to Duckburg. Scrooge McDuck, tarnished tycoon turned humble hometown hero. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. You're welcome. <sighs> My number one dime. Fuck. Let's get out of here before these scavengers throw me a parade. But how did all this happen in the first place? You had the dime in your grasp! No, your crazy shark had the dime in its throat, so excuse me if I didn't want to be eaten. You would have probably survived! But you cared more about your stupid friends than you did about your own family. Your shark was out of control. The dime does neither of us any good if I'm dead. I had no choice. You had a choice and you chose wrong. You're not supposed to think. You're supposed to follow orders. Maybe I'm tired of following orders. I'm done. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> I'm the only one who can give you what you truly want. <laughs> Your dark heart's fondest desire. Your freedom. <sighs> Whatever you say, Aunt Magica. <laughs> Good morning, Donald! 